Hey everybody, welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. And we are in another flashback. This is Franklin. He's the brother of Chuck that owns the Pello factory. And uh, he's apparently trying to convince Chuck to create these Pello bears, these little toy stuffed animals, to kind of convert the Pello factory into a toy factory. It's a pillow bear prototype. Turn the plush bear inside out and you get a plush pillow. Don't tell Chuck, but pink is my favorite color. And we're at the hotel that this is where he was last seen. So first thing I need to do is disguise my appearance. Second thing is check into a hotel room. The next one is get duplicate of prospectus, meaning make a copy of this document here. Hello. Hello. Guess he can't hear me. I'll just push this button here. Hey, dude, what's your damage? Yo, dude. What's that jacket you're wearing? The latest and greatest jacket. It zips in the front. Don't most jackets do that? <sighs> you're too old to understand. What's on your face? They're the latest and greatest nose glasses from the Jason the News Guy adventure game from Mucus Phlegm Games. With these on, no one knows who I am. What's on your feet? The latest and greatest Reeboks. I just got them. Aren't they rad? What's with all the latest and greatest? I'm not grody like you. Everyone knows that unless you've got the latest and greatest, you might as well barf. I'm not risking my reputation by touching anything that's not like the latest and greatest. What if I said you didn't have the latest and greatest stuff? <laughs> like, barf me out. All my stuff is totally the latest and the greatest. Your glasses are not the latest and greatest. These glasses have got to be the latest and greatest, aren't they? Did something newer come out? <laughs> nah, you're wigging. I can't trust a dweeb like you. Yeah, those glasses are yesterday's news. I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh, yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... Uh, let's see. I know this gnarly dude. I know this gnarly dude who... Was on, was on MTV and... Tells me what's wicked and what'll gag me with a spoon. Whoa! You're legit! I totally believe you know what's tight right now. When you've got something new and sick, I'll trade you. Until then, I'm gonna rock out. Ah, oh, don't you just love this music? I'll just push this button here. Hey, dude, what's your damage? Dude, check out this rad new pillow bear. It's righteous. Big time righteous. I'll do you a favor and trade you. You'd do that for me? Oh, sick! Who? what do you want to trade? I'll trade you the bear for your glasses. No faking. Gag me. Your glasses totally make you look like a dweeb. No, duh! Eh, take the glasses then. Quick, before anyone notices I have them. First, here's my used gum for your collection. Uh, I don't have a gum collection. Uh, never mind that. Now give me that bear so I rock it out. Sure, er, dweeb dude, er, gnarlicious, er, I can't keep this up. Let's get this over with. Here it is. Sweet! Your ace. Later, dude. All right, I got the used gum and glasses. Nobody can recognize me now with this foolproof disguise. Completely foolproof. Welcome to the Edmond Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the Tri Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? Abu. I'd like to check in. 
Okay, sir, what's your name, Abu, for the booking? Robert Palmer. <laughs> of course, Mr. Palmer. We have a lovely suite Abu for you on the fourth floor. Your suite has been fitted with the new state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000. It's such new technology, Abu, that we're still fitting out the rooms on the 10th floor. How else may I be a boo of service? Do you have photocopying here? But of course we do, Abu. Abu, Abu, Abu. That is to say, we normally do, but uh, we've run out of paper, Abu. Unless I get more paper, Abu, I won't be able to help you out. Normally we do, Abu. I'm going to look at my, I mean, your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Got the disguise, going to the hotel room. I need to get more photocopy paper. Deluxe room example photo. It's a photo of a perfectly clean standard room. It's hotel stationery. That is, it's a mostly blank piece of paper. Ah, a piece of paper. Actually have to get to my room. That. It's the key card for my room. It's locked. I told you to use it. Hello? Yes, only on Tuesdays. Yes, I'm almost ready for our meeting. I've just got to wrap up a couple more things. I'll call you back when I'm ready. What's that monstrosity? A Hoteltron. Chuck must have had them installed recently. I'll have to find a way to stop it recording my meeting. And I still need to get a copy of my amazing prospectus. Then I can keep the original for myself and give a copy to the investors. And if you'll remember, at the beginning of the game, one of the investors was the one that was found dead. So this does directly connect to the main plot. And it's being told to one of the investigators. Waiting. What was that? I guess it was nothing. Looks like the Tron machines are working perfectly. He's spying on everyone's hotel room. No reaction. Perfect. Sick. Now Chuck will have no idea what I do in my meeting. Just got to get a copy of that prospectus so I can keep my original. Then I'll be ready to call back the investors and let them know we can start the meeting. Seems like it's... Uh... Bit of a privacy issue to have a camera pointing right at the bed in a hotel room. Alright, let's see. Who watches the Are you room? happy now? I've done everything you ask!
Seems like Chuck's being manipulated. Could you use this as photocopying paper? That should be all the paper, Abu, I need. What would you like to photocopy? This toy's butt. <laughs> this prospectus document. Sure thing, Abu. Well, that's all I need. I'll be back in a jiffy, Abu. Last task done. Now I'm ready for my meeting. Better get back to my room and call the investors. You can come up to my room now. I'm ready. Back to being plain old Franklin. That was quick. Oh, it's you. How did you know I was here? Franklin was never seen again. I asked the sheriff for more information, but there was nothing. No body, no Franklin. Some of the more superstitious types claim he's haunting this hotel, but those of us dedicated to fact-finding know that must be poppycock. That's an interesting story. So Franklin's dead as well? No one knows for sure if he's dead. Isn't it a great time to be a journalist in Thimbleweed Park? One missing, a mystery body, and Chuck died of a heart attack. Did you find out the identity of the body in the river yet? We're not telling the press anything until his family is notified. Respectable feds. Interesting development. <laughs> but you didn't answer my original question. Why are you here? I see I can't fool you. If you ever want to switch professions, we need reporters like you. That still doesn't answer my question about why you're here. Okay, okay. I was following up on a report that Franklin checked in here under a pseudonym. Finally. A pseudonym? What was it? All I could find out is that a man with a large nose was seen around the same time as Franklin. And? That man checked in under the name Robert Palmer. So it may not have been Chuck's brother. What room did the man with the large nose check into? It was a room on the fourth floor. I couldn't find out anything more without a shiny official badge, like you have. What's new in the news? Uh, just a bunch of reports about paranormal activity here at the hotel. I don't give them much credence. Why is it so hard to get information from you? Let's call it a job interview. <sighs> As I've said, I need good reporters, so I don't have to run all over the county. I don't have time to be a newspaper reporter. Fair enough, but you know where to find me. Thanks for all the information. See you later. If you find out anything publishable, stop by the nickel to let me know. Okay. We've actually done... Quite a few things. We have enough to get a blood drawn report. And we need to fingerprint the murder weapon. I guess that's the ice pick that we found in the sewer. Find mushrooms in the sewers. Why do we need to do that? Anyway, we'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel. Most beautiful hotel abu in the tri thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? Hello, Sheriff. Why are you moonlighting as the hotel manager? Oh, Abu, uh, I'm not the sheriff. I'm the hotel manager. 
Uh, the sheriff says that annoying areno thing all the time. You'll never hear me doing that, Abu. Sure. Whatever. Is anything going on in the hotel today? Nothing, Abu. Certainly not more cases of food poisoning. Definitely not, Abu. Do you know what happened to Franklin Edmund? Huh. I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Go on. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. You don't say. That is an Otterino coincidence. What room did he check into? Oh, let me see, Abu, now. It was a Mr. Robert Palmer. Sounds legit. He checked into a room, Abu, on the fourth floor. I'd like that room key for our investigation. I'm not sure I should do that without a warrant, Abu. But since there's nothing to see there, I suppose, Abu, I can give it to you. Thank you. Finally. How else may I be Abu of service? I'm going to check out your, um, interesting lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Now we have the victim's key card, and we also have Franklin's key card. Let's go to the victim's room first. The label says Pillow Bear. I wonder how it got here. Hmm. Clearly he was one of the investors. It's a passport. It's a German passport for Boris Schultz. So far apart. to do there or is there Franklin is dead what was all that about why couldn't they see me I'm dead hmm <clears throat> well I guess that's probably what I deserve about time you joined us in the land of the almost dead who are you I'm Xavier the head ghost and I'm in charge of the ghosts I run a tight ship Everyone must pull their weight or face the penalties. What do you mean, pull their weight? Don't ask. Time to update the schedule for everyone to follow. Clara, you're on elevator duty. Don't let anyone get to the penthouse. I was just on elevator duty. No arguing. Now, Virgil, keep up the good work on front door duty. Don't let anyone in or out of the hotel. It's about time the living started realizing who's really in charge around here. That doesn't seem right. That's irrelevant. New ghost, you're going to scare at least two people who try to use the drinking fountain in the lobby. Okay, everyone to work. What are you waiting for, Clara? By the way, your brother died. Chuck's dead? When did that happen? I'm free of Chuck's tyranny. That is, I know he would have come here to tell me off if he could. I wonder why this head ghost seems so bossy. I've got to scare someone? Hmm. Maybe I have special powers. All right, so now we can switch to Ghost Franklin. Look at Boohoo list. Try to talk to Dolores. Hopeless things I need to do. This must be before so he can move on. 
Try to talk to Dolores. Get Ch visit Chuck's tomb to get closure. Scare one person at the drinking fountain. Scare another person at the drinking fountain. And escape to the afterlife. And there's also different... Can't really do the same things. <laughs> can zap things. That must be how you can interact. Huh. I get no satisfaction from chilling objects when no one is around. Oh. Maybe I should just find a hole to crawl into? I'll never get to finish that delicious sandwich. You can blow on things. Okay, so uh, I think I'm going to leave it here for now, and we will try to finish Franklin's ghostly mission uh, next time so he can move on to the afterlife. So join us for that on Monday. We'll have more Phoenix Wright tomorrow and uh, Pizza Tower on Tuesday and Thursday. So uh, look forward to that, and we will catch you next time. Have a great weekend. Later.